So welcome back to Northern Exotics, guys. Today, we're out herping. And all these animals, ah! <laughs> Welcome back to Northern Exotics, guys. A pet YouTube channel that absolutely loves to educate. If that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. So today, we're just back down to our normal little spot. We love coming down the canal. You can see it just there. Now, I apologize if I'm doing all this sort of stuff for today. Or oh, this sort of stuff. The sun is dead, dead bright. But we've come down the canal just for a walk. We're going to check up on all the normal animals that we like to see. Swanee McSwanface, we'll try and find him. I think some more ends of um, eggs have hatched and stuff like that. Let's just go out and enjoy it. And again, with the canal as my normal canal sort of videos, I'm not going to put any backing sound, uh, backing music over the video simply because, listen, failed. Oh. We've got the birds back again. So let's go check out what we can find. And straight away, check out what we've found. Ah, oh, look, the cute little moorhens. Look at the little babies. Oh, I love how their heads are all covered in the slime. <laughs> how awesome are they? They're so cute. There's a coot out looking for food for these babies, I guess. So many little babies all hiding away out of this sun. It's unreal. How beautiful are they? Ooh, we've got baby ducks there as well. Oh, they're so cute. How cool are they, guys? One, two, three, four, five babies. All in a line wiggling their butts. But wiggle, but wiggle, but, but, but. All these baby ducks and baby little bird life that I'm seeing, I'm wondering if the swan, there was a swan down here on its nest. You remember that from my last video. If you don't, I'll link it in the uh, cards above. I wonder if um, their eggs have hatched. I hope we see them. Oh, look at the little baby. That's so cute. I really urge you guys to go for a look. Go for a walk down your local canal. I mean, absolutely amazing. It really does clear your mind. A bit of exercise. You get to see all this beautiful stuff. You don't get to see this sat at home on your sofa. Well, unless you're watching David Attenborough. Go watch David Attenborough. Guess who we've just found? Yes, we've found him. Swanny McSwan face. Woo woo. Hello, matey. How's it going, mate? Yeah. Check him out. Now, now he knows I'm here, you're probably going to see him around quite a little bit. Look at how majestic they are. Now I'm hoping, now that we've found him, um, there he is, I don't know if you can see him, but now we've found him, hopefully his missus is around with a nest or babies. Let's have a look. I've just seen him go into that little area there, I wonder if he's, she's in there, let's go and have a look. Oh, I think so. Look at that, you can't really see her too well, but she is in there, in the back. So I'm not going to disturb her too much. Um, she's tucked away in the reeds. She doesn't want to be disturbed, obviously, so I'm not going to try and disturb her or anything like that. But Daddy Pig must have, uh, Daddy Swan must have just have been out looking for a bit of food or stretching his legs or something. I don't know, but we'll check, on, check in on him on the way back and uh, see how they are. Wow, chuffed we found them. I absolutely love how clear the water is here. Look at that. Wow. I really do recommend you guys get out and have a nice old walk along the canals. If you've got a local canal or any sort of water source, the sea, the beach, uh, rivers, anything like that near you, and you go out for walks regularly, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you guys see and if you love seeing the growth of all the animals and all that sort of stuff. I absolutely love it. I thrive off it. Have you ever had um, a tough week? I've been working seven days a week at the minute. Um, I've got me Northern Exotic YouTube channel. I've also just started my new Savannah Monitor channel, um, which I'm building up content for that as well. And everything's just got a little bit on top of me. I've all the kids and stuff like that. And a nice old walk down the canal really does just clear your mind. You don't, you're not thinking, you're just out looking, just opening your eyes. 
you're looking at all the animals around, the weed growth in the actual water, the plant life around, listening to the sound. Every now and then, you may even get a little disturbance while you're filming. And a train passes by. It's just gone through my ears. Ha, <laughs> awesome. But yeah, you get to see all this random sort of stuff that you wouldn't get to see if you were sat on the sofa. And I absolutely love it. I thrive off this sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comment section if you guys see anything. If you've got any cool pictures of any of the bird life or anything like that that you've seen along your canal walks, send it over to me. I'd love to have a look. You can either send it over to me on our Northern Exotics Facebook page or on our Instagram uh, at Northern Exotics UK. It's always worth it. Let's keep walking. So I've come to the conclusion Just to ride and be so So I'll end up dying slowly Look at him just sat there having a bit of a wash, cleaning himself after a night on the tiles. These are massively underrated animals, but they're so fascinating once you look into them. I don't look into them too much, but I love watching them. Look how clean that beak is. You wouldn't think so when he's living in areas like this. Ducking down, eating a bit of weed. Oh my God, I love coming the canals. Oh, he's gone. All the little bees that are flying around in this area now. There's one just in there, you can see that one. They do a fascinating job in our ecosystem, collecting all the pollen, taking it back to their nests oh look at it look at it go see if i can get a close-up because that is fascinating i don't know if i'll be able to stay on it Ooh, there it goes it's gone and again how amazing is that i've just seen loads of big wolf spiders and all their nests their webs and everything it was fascinating to watch them working on it but trying to get it on camera is near impossible You just can't beat the great outdoors. Look at that view. Now I know this is a bit different to normal sort of herping videos because it's not really herping. It's just going out, we're looking at some birds and having a wander. I'm not going digging around looking for little invertebrates. But I do hope you enjoy this sort of video uh, because I love making them. I love coming out watching all these animals. Ah! <laughs> just got nearly ran over by a bike. <laughs> I hope you heard me squeal like a piggy there. That's the sort of thing YouTubers have to go through. <laughs> Not only the bit of embarrassment of you, they're driving along seeing me interact with a camera. <laughs> right, camera nerves. Yeah, I, I do love doing this. I hope you guys do too. I love seeing all these little animals growing up and you get to come along with me. Why not? It makes a bit of fun, doesn't it? I should really start filming like this so that I could keep an eye on and see if anything's driving down behind me. <laughs> he just drove past laughing his head off. What a goon am I. I'm having a goony sort of week, aren't I? So basically, guys, this is my attempt at trying to film a spider's web. You can see all the little bits of fluff and the little bugs and everything that are all caught up inside the web. I can't actually see a spider on it, but he's probably out and about doing something. How awesome is that? I love seeing all this sort of stuff. But why is it so different to a tarantula's web? Is it because a tarantula's web doesn't get blown around by the wind and stuff, so it doesn't get destroyed? Maybe that's why theirs gets destroyed and it's never as big and as strong as tarantula's webs. That and tarantulas are a lot bigger, so they could probably produce stronger webs. Huh. I don't know, it's just a bit of my stupid mind working. <laughs> Ducks have drank all their whiskey and chucked the bottle in the water. The habitat killers. There he is again, look at him tormenting all the babies there. Get away from my nest. Get away from my nest. Come on, mate, that's not very fair on the babies, is it? You're evil. Right, so we've come towards the end. There's the bridge on the way back to the car. Do hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, hit the thumbs up. So guys, we've come to the end of our walk now, which is the end of our video as well. Thanks for tuning in guys, if you've enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button, like, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in, 
I appreciate you all. Peace out.